thank you for making me separate some of my time to play with some new makeup. Hi there. So I'm really tired. I need a break. And I thought I might just go ahead and play with some makeup because I've got a bunch of new drugstore I want to play with and I still didn't have time to do so. I really need a glow up. So first thing I want to do is prime my face, of course. If you've watched some of my videos, you know that the e.l.f. Putty Primer is pretty much one of my favorite pore fillers. Uh, I like it because it's not too drying. It does blur quite enough, but it still hydrates the skin, so it's not super matte. There have been a lot of dupes for the putty primer, and one of the newer ones is this Catrice Grip and Last Putty Primer, which looks exactly the same, and it comes with a little spoon. So let's go ahead and try and apply this with a spoon. Okay, like this works pretty well. It's very different to the putty primer texture. This is very heavy. I don't know if you can see over here, but I have no pores. Wow. Okay, this worked really well when it comes to blurring, but it feels kind of like heavy and a little bit sticky. I mean, I know it's called grip and last, so I would expect it to grip, but I expected a similar texture to the putty primer and this is way different. Let's see how the foundation sits on top. Speaking of foundation sitting on top of stuff, I have a couple new primers. I'm not sure which one to use though, because I have a lot. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna put on the Essence Primer because I haven't tried it yet. This is the Essence Prime Plus Studio Multi Action and Protecting Primer. It has blue light protection, SPF 15, and it has a mineral SPF filter in it. So I'm like, that's interesting. It doesn't smell like SPF, which I appreciate. and it looks fine on the skin. It's kind of glowy. Now it's kind of sinking in and I feel like this is very lightweight and probably one of the most lightweight with SPF from all my primers. So I think this is actually quite nice, but I'll have to keep trying it to see how it works under foundation. For the foundation, I have a new one from Trend It Up. If you read my blog, you already know what I think about it. But this is the Trend It Up Hydro Stay foundation and it's a serum foundation with hyaluronic acid and vitamin complex. They have like two shades, which is just... Why do you have only two shades? Because this formula is great, like great. I have the shade 10 and it has this like really weird dropper. I'm just gonna put it right in my brush and let's go. I absolutely love this serum foundation. It has like medium, almost high medium coverage. I used just a couple drops and it covered my whole face without any issues. I do have the blurring primer underneath so it blurs even more, but by itself it's already super blurring so I really like it. I think it wears really well. It's supposed to be like a long wearing foundation. It has SPF 15. It has everything. Like I'm so happy with this. Like this part of my face is like smooth. Like there's nothing. For the concealer, I recently picked up this I Have Revolution Heartbreakers Concealer. It has some nice like stuff in it, like vitamin C, E, A, and B3, and B5, and some coconut extract, and has a little heart as an applicator. And I have the shade Oat, so let's try it out. This is a strange concealer formula. First of all, the applicator doesn't help whatsoever. It makes it harder to apply it, but that's fine. It smells of coconut, but 
that's like fine they didn't say coconut oil coconut extract which doesn't really have to mean it has coconut oil in it it does look pretty brightening even on the camera kind of dewier than the rest of the look it doesn't have much coverage i feel like this is like light medium coverage concealer when i need something quick and like really brightening i would say this could do now i'm gonna set my under eyes and this is not exactly a drugstore okay but it's very affordable so this is the weibo aqua mist powder i think this is supposed to be like a dupe for the becca aqua something powder which i never tried but i really like this one Okay, I kind of lied. So I ended up setting up my whole T-zone with it. This is like one of my favorite powders at the moment. It's so lightweight and it really doesn't feel drying at all. Okay, next I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. I'm not sure if I use this one on camera, but um, I've been using this a lot because I really like it. The putty bronzer has way better formula than the putty blush for some reason and I really like this one. It's like more, it's a little bit deeper and more cool toned than I expected but I really like it. It really reminds me of the Fenty and Macchiato. The tone is very similar. Now for the blush we're gonna go creamy again and this is the new Revolution Fast Base Blush. I have the shade Peach and it just looked really cute so I thought you know what might as well try it out and it's like in this little stick and I did find out that when I applied right from the tube it just lifts everything underneath so I'm just gonna apply it with my stippling brush. See, like I toned it down a lot and it's still pretty intense. So I'm just gonna go over it with my foundation brush. And now I'm just going to set the rest of my face with the same Weibo powder. I'm actually very impressed with this combo. Yeah, like there are no pores here. This is my most porous area. And where I applied the primer, the Catrice primer, it, there's not, nothing, like no pore. Incredible. Just a note, this foundation is incredibly lightweight, so literally now my face feels like there's nothing. So now what are we gonna do next? I think I wanna do my eyebrows because I look a little weird without them. I have a new brow pen, but it's not a pen, it's a liner. This is the Catrice 72 hour natural brow precise liner, and it's literally in their eyeliner packaging and I can't open it. So. It literally comes in like, and I have the shade medium brown, which looks a little dark and a little warm, but we will see. Then I have the new Essence Couldn't Care More Caring Eyebrow Fixin' Gel from the limited collection that is dedicated to eyebrows. And this is what it looks like. It has like nicely bent wand. I really like that. That's why I got it. And then I also got this from Maybelline. This is their new Express Brow Set and Duo in the shade Dark Blonde. And on one side, you get this like triangular shaped pencil and on the other side you get a powder so uh, i kind of want to try all of them first i'm gonna go in with a pencil and i'm going to just kind of sketch the shape a little bit especially at the bottom because that's where i struggle the most I am incredibly terrible at this, but at least you can kind of see how it works. I'm gonna fill in the inner part of the brow with the powder. It looks a little bit too warm for my liking. I'm gonna take this liner and we're gonna try to make it a little bit more fluffy because this looks like a blurry blocky mess. Okay, it's not really my color, but at least it looks a little bit fluffier. And now I'm just gonna set it with this brow gel and hope for the best. And here you can kind of see the difference. I don't like this eyebrow at all. This looks horrific. It looks like it has a little dent up here. Oh my god, I'm so bad at eyebrows. I hate it. Okay, so I'm just gonna fuck up the other one and see you in a minute. I hate these eyebrows. I've used the pencil like two times and it's like 
this is absolutely unusable. Like if I try to do like a line, look at how thick that is. Like that, that's just, that's no good. It's pretty red. That's also what I don't like, but that's usual with blonde in the drugstore. The powder, like yeah, but at the same time, no, because it just keeps like sliding back in and you cannot really be precise with it. Like the tip is not precise. Who is this for? I don't understand. And this Catrice pen, like, I wasn't sure for a minute if it was even doing anything because it does like a couple strokes and then it just kind of stops. But it's easier to work with than I expected. And I actually managed to do some nice hair work here at the inner part. So I'm not mad at this. It's just a little finicky. And the brow gel is absolutely useless. I will add a third layer just because I really need to have some hope. Yeah, stay away from this if you like a hold in your brows. I, I need glue for my eyebrows. I want it to stay all day in the same shape. This is literally more like a brow serum than an actual brow gel. It just doesn't do anything for me. So that was a little bit of a flop. <laughs> this is the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. Looks like this, like pretty standard packaging. It was also fucking leaking everywhere, so it's pretty dirty, but let me try it out. It goes in like oil, pretty much. It's so freaking oily. Then once you blend it out, it kind of gets sticky. It's a little pigmented. I'm not sure what I think yet. Now, if you were in the drugstore lately, you probably saw that Essence came out with these like small six pen palettes. And I got one. This one is not in the drugstore. I got it online, but they have like mauve one and like a bronzy one in the drugstore. And this one is called the Dancing Green. Fuck you. It's basically a beautiful, beautiful palette of greens. Now, it does have a mirror, which I really appreciate because it's pretty handy for traveling, actually. Every time I go somewhere, I look for a palette or a bronzer or something that has like a decent mirror. This is a really good quality mirror. Okay, you get two mattes. You get like this greeny brown and this like true dark green. Then you get four shimmers. This is more like a just inner corner highlight. And then you get these three, which are all pretty cute. This one looks like a dual chrome. Then, I have this, which is the Essence Chrome On Dual Chrome Liquid Eyeshadow. Look at this. I don't even think the camera will pick it up. This looks kind of shit in the viewfinder. This is probably the most dual chrome, dual chrome thing I've ever seen. Let's just go, 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 go and see where it takes us. Um, I'm not sure how cool it looks on camera, but in person it looks really cool. The liquid shadow is pretty dope. I don't know what to do now. I'll just finish off the eyeshadow and I'll be back for a mascara because I have a new one. I first wanted to put on lashes, but I'm not sure if I wanna, if I'm gonna be trying out a new mascara. So this is a new Essence Double Trouble mascara. They do it in the regular and also in the waterproof formula. I have the regular one. And if you look at the brush, it has like two sides. One is for definition and one is for volume. There's the definition side, which has like more sparse bristles. And then there's the volume side, which is like super stubby, short, thick bristles. So I don't know what to do now. Okay, so first I think I want to go for the definition, I guess. I'm gonna try to go in with volume first on the other eye. You can't really see anything because uh, obviously I have a liner. So there's not much to see, but these look thicker and shorter and these look longer and more curled. I prefer the definition side, but now let me just... Um I 
I think I prefer the volume and then definition side because I feel like it got thicker and then it got longer so it looks better than this one which got longer and curled and then just kind of like got turned down by the volume and doesn't feel too heavy I do have quite a couple coats on so it feels a little bit heavy but it feels nice I'm just gonna take this old Essence Wanted Sunset Dreams fading bronzer and I'm gonna add a little bit bronzer because I feel a little bit pale And I also think I'm gonna contour my nose just a little bit with this contouring duo from Essence. Man, this is turning into full face of Essence really quickly. <laughs> I don't know, it just kind of feels like it looks a little bit better. Maybe it's just me. And now we can highlight a little bit. I'm gonna take the Soph and Revolution Highlighting Duo in the shade Sugar Frosting. I don't think I've used this on camera yet. I use it all the time. I'm gonna take the lighter shade. This is a really intense and really pretty highlight. I'm not really into highlighters like this anymore, but this one really does something special to me. <sighs> I don't even know why I have this. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't used liquid lip in ages. But this is the new Trended Up Everlasting Matte Non-Transfer Liquid Lipstick. Looks like this. They used to have a liquid lipstick formula, but it was complete garbage. And I think they finally got rid of it and actually created a matte liquid lipstick. So let's try it out. It's really pretty. It's like this warm brown. I'm kind of surprised I actually managed to apply it like half decently. Uh, it's the shade 50, if anybody wonders. It's not too warm, it's not too cool toned, it's not too red. Okay, and I'll just set it all with my Milani. This is the finished look. So what do we think? The complexion, I think I made myself pretty clear. I think it's great. This is a good blush, only if you apply it like not straight up on your skin because it just will lift everything. This is like a little honorable mention. This is amazing palette. Like the quality of these highlighters is absolutely unmatched. Now let's focus on the eyes because that's pretty like, they're out there. The palette actually better than expected, a lot better than expected. The shades are not like crazy pigmented, but they do build really well and they blend really well. Can you see that blend? I'm pretty happy with it. I would maybe appreciate if this was a matte maybe, like a you know, like a lighter green shade to kind of blend it all out. Let me just quickly swatch the shimmers so I can give you some feedback. Yeah, the inner corner highlight is like really underwhelming. This one's eh, this one's eh. Mm. These are the shimmers, like pretty disappointed with the shimmers. Those are like, I mean, Essence can do way better shimmers, but the mattes are nice. So maybe in the other palettes, the shimmers are gonna be better, who knows? But I wouldn't buy it just for the mattes, I think. Then we have this absolute gem of an eyeshadow. It doesn't look as duochromatic on the eyes, but that's usually the case, but it looks really pretty. It's like really beautiful gold with a lot of glitters and it's just, for drugstore liquid eyeshadow, this is incredible formula. It set completely pretty fast. It was movable. You don't really see any like super harsh lines. I like it. Just for the record, it's way better than the XX Revolution Duo Chromatic Eyeshadow. Just saying. Oh, the mascara. Mm -hmm. I have to wear it for the whole day to see if my lashes start falling, but the dual sided brush has something going on for it. The eye primer, I don't know, like the oiliness of the initial application just really turns me down, but maybe it's gonna be good. I have to keep testing it out to really see. I'm kind of undecided about that one. And the lip, it's very thin. I really like the formula. It's very similar to the Fenty liquid lipstick. Very similar formula, super thin, super pigmented, but it's a little sticky. Let me just look at it. Oh yeah, I think we're gone. Uh huh. It's one of those, it's one of those you have to like, silly me. Yeah, the Maybellines do that. The super, super matte ones, you have to lick them and then they're fine. I don't know about longevity. It feels a little drying, but not too much. I'm not sure how I like it with this look, but I like it. Um, yeah, so I would say it was mostly video full of hits. The only thing I really don't like are the brow products. <laughs> no, just no. The pencil, too thick. It's impossible, impossible to do a thin line with it. And the powder thing is just, um, no, no, no. 
No. And also, could you people please just kind of delete the red undertone from all your blonde eyebrow products? Like, look at that. My brows are like near my lip color. Everybody else can do it. Why can't you be normal, Maybelline? Please. That was me trying out a whole bunch of new drugstore. I had a good time. I finally got to try the duo chromatic shadow and I'm living for it. So thank you very much for watching, consider subscribing and if you want to see more videos of me trying out drugstore makeup, there's a whole playlist for you. See ya, bye!